Hi, I'm Cindy McGee. Today I'm using items from the Gifting Treasures Create Along box to create this fun color shifting blooms bracelet. I started by conditioning and rolling some black Primo Sculpey to the first setting on my clay machine. I'm going to silk screen with this gorgeous silk screen that came with this month's box. It's called Garden of Fun. I like to just roll it a bit to make sure it's in place. And I'm using this plaid folk art color shift paint and this is blue flash. Wash your silk screen immediately after using so that it'll be ready for use again next time. This is my first experiment with these color shift paints and I am hooked. It is absolutely gorgeous. This one goes from this beautiful purpley shade to the metallic blue effect. It's just gorgeous. While my silk screened image was drying, I moved on to the next pieces and I'm using Primo Sculpey Periwinkle and Purple, which I've conditioned and rolled to the first setting on the clay machine. I'm going to be using the deco discs that came with the box this month. This set is called the Bloom Tiles set. You do want to use a release agent. I like to use water, but you can use cornstarch or mica powder and place it onto the clay sheet. You want to apply a good amount of pressure to make sure that you transfer the best amount of detail. I used one deco disc for the two periwinkle pieces that I'm making and a different one for the purple piece. I just use a paper towel to blot off any excess water and you can see that gorgeous texture. To cut the pieces for the bracelet itself, I'm using the tag template that came in the kit this month. I just chose the size that I wanted my pieces to be, placed the template on top of the clay, and then used a craft knife to cut out each of the elements. I did this for the textured and the silk screened pieces. Now it was time to layer a bit. I placed the silk screened pieces on top of the textured pieces offset a bit as you can see. I just wanted to get a bit of each of them onto each of these pieces for the bracelet. And I'm just using my craft knife to cut out around the base piece and remove the excess clay. I made a hole for my jump rings on opposite sides of each of the pieces. To give them a bit of a curve, I baked them on one of my large circle cutters. You could use a can or any curved surface. Bake them according to the manufacturer's instructions and let them cool. Once they were baked and cooled, I went ahead and used that same paint to paint around the edges of each of the pieces. Once the paint had dried completely, I did give all of the pieces a spray coat of a matte sealant on the front and the back before I proceeded to putting the bracelet together. 
Once the spray sealant had dried, I went ahead and I just used some gold jump rings and added a jump ring to each of the beads and then a jump ring to connect each of the pieces together and added my closure and the bracelet is ready to wear. You can see how the beautiful flash you get from that paint. Join me next time for more creative ideas made with products from createalong.com.